Hey guys, how's it going? This right here is the all new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Of course, the standard feature here is the foldable display, but the software inside also packs in some neat features to help you make out the most of your time with the device. But what are those features? Let's find out. This is one from Guiding Deck and you're watching my list of the top 11 tips and tricks that every Galaxy Z Flip 3 user should know about. Let's get started. Alright, so first things first, let's understand how to use the cover screen here. If you tap it once, you'll see the cover screen light up in a dim way to just show you the date and time. However, if you double tap the cover screen, it wakes up, allowing you to interact with it. You can now swipe from right to left to access your widgets right here seamlessly without even having to open the phone once. And that's not all. You can tap and hold on a widget to remove it or swipe all the way to the end to add a new widget as well. If you scroll to the left of the clock, you can actually view your notifications as well. Just tap on a notification to expand it and then interact with it. For now, there is no option to reply to messages directly, but I'm sure Samsung can implement it in a software update if they want to. Finally, if you swipe down from the clock screen, you'll be greeted with two quick settings. You can change the ringer mode and adjust the brightness of the cover screen. Lastly, if you want to change the clock itself, for that, you'll have to open the phone, head over to settings, cover screen, clock style, and then select the style of your liking. Now, one of the biggest advantages of the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is the flex mode. It basically splits the phone into two halves and that's so, so convenient. Now, most apps use it by default. For instance, just set the phone on a table in the flex mode and open the camera app. You can see that the app will split into two parts, shifting the viewfinder to the top portion while giving you controls at the bottom. The same happens with YouTube as well, where the video will play in the top section while you can browse to your feed in the bottom half. However, Samsung even allows you to force the flex mode to certain apps. For that, head over to settings, advanced features, labs, flex mode panel, and from here, you can make adjustments as per your liking. Now, of course, being a flip phone, the most satisfying thing that you can do with the Flip 3 is to open the phone to answer a call and fold it back to cut the call. So how do you enable this feature? Just open the phone app, head over to settings, answering and entering calls, open phone to answer, and just enable the toggles here. Simple and so much fun. Now the Z Flip 3 also comes with the intuitive edge lighting that Samsung is very well known for. This brings about a glowing border on your screen's edges to help you know that a notification has arrived. To enable it, head over to settings, notification. Make sure that you have the pop-up style set to brief. Now tap on brief pop-up settings and then tap on edge lighting style. You can now choose from various different effects, customize their color and adjust the width and transparency too. The Galaxy Z Flip 3 also comes with a very good stereo sound support. However, if you want to make the most out of this setup, you have to enable Dolby Atmos. To do that, head over to settings, sounds and vibration, scroll all the way down and then tap on sound quality and effects. Now enable the toggle next to Dolby Atmos. You can also tap on it to adjust the modes you prefer, whether it's music, movie, or voice. Personally, I prefer keeping it to auto only. Okay, now unlike the S21 series of flagship smartphones, the Z Flip 3 does not come with an in-display scanner. Instead, you get a side-mounted fingerprint scanner embedded into the power button. But this thing has its own advantages too. Did you know that you can swipe down on the power button to access your notification tray? Well, here's how to enable it. Go to settings, advanced features, motions and gestures and then enable the toggle next to finger sensor gestures and that's it you can now swipe down and up on the fingerprint scanner to open and close the notification tray respectively but that's not where all the fun ends samsung also allows you to make the most out of this power button or as samsung likes to call it the side key in fact while you can switch off your phone it also lets you open your favorite app when you double tap on it now to remap the button head over to settings advanced features and then tap on side key under the double press section select open app now, just select the app of your choice and that's it. Okay, so the Galaxy Z Flip 3 comes with a beautiful 120Hz refresh rate. However, the battery life on this phone isn't that good. So good recommendation would be to just switch the refresh rate to 60Hz in order to conserve some juice. To do that, go to settings, display, motion smoothness. By default, it should be set to adaptive. Just change it to standard and that's it. Obviously, it won't be as smooth as 120Hz, but you'll end up saving a lot of battery life. Now, another great feature that Samsung packs in is edge panels. I mean, with One UI 3.1, edge panels has become even better. Accessing the edge panel is very simple. It's tucked onto the right or the left side of the screen and can be recognized by a transparent white bar. Simply swipe it to the center and you can access your most used apps, contacts, tools, clipboards, and more. 
And if you want to customize it, head over to settings, display, and then tap on edge panels. From here, you can change the default position, the various apps that show up here, and even adjust the look of the white one. Speaking about apps and panels here, while there is already a good collection here, you can also tap on the Galaxy Store option below to download more panels of your liking. Lastly, we all know that Bixby is not as smart as other smart assistants out there, but nothing controls your Samsung device better than Bixby. Which is why you should definitely be using Bixby routines. To create a Bixby routine on your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, go to Settings, Advanced Features and select Bixby Routines. Here, pick one of the existing presets under Recommended section and fill out the empty fields as per your requirement. You can also create your own from scratch by tapping on the plus icon in the upper right corner of My Routines. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.